Did you notice that modern medicine ignores clinically proven medical plants? It's really unusual for an American doctor to prescribe clinical plants. However, it's very common in Europe where medical doctors prescribe clin clinical plants or in India or Africa or China or anywhere else. They do use these plants. Uh, in this 2019 study, which is an expert consensus study from all over the world, they demonstrated that standardized ginkgo extract, not to be confused with plain ginkgo, but the standardized extract of ginkgo improved cognition, behavior, and activities of daily living in Alzheimer's and vascular dementia in all patients, and they were without risks. Now, it is a caveat not to take ginkgo with any blood thinning drugs. So if you're taking warfarin, Pradaxa, Xeralto, Eliquis, or any other anticoagulant or blood thinning drug, I would recommend from an abundance of caution that you not also take ginkgo biloba or get your doctor's clearance to take it if, uh, if you want to take it and you're taking these drugs. Other than that, there are no downsides to ginkgo biloba. Uh, one of the ways it works is by thinning the blood a bit so that it can get into the individual brain cells. Uh, so it is really helpful. Now they did a meta analysis looking at nine double blind randomized trials. These are all placebo controlled, a gold plated science. And they showed that ginkgo biloba helped both in delaying the onset of Alzheimer's disease and in treating it. Substantial evidence shows that ginkgo, unlike the drugs, donepezil and memantine, protect memory neurons against cell death induced by beta amyloid. This is fantastic, they're neuroprotective. And another study looked at ginkgo along with donepezil. They had a group taking one or the other or both. And they found that it improved memory as well as donepezil, but without the side effects, which I mentioned, can be very commonly nausea and vomiting. It uh, reduces blood viscosity and dilates blood vessels. So it also reduces density of free radicals, it's antioxidant. This half-year randomized placebo-controlled study with 60 elder patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease showed that it was helpful. So I included in the Hawaii Dementia Prevention Trial, if you do want to include ginkgo biloba, make sure it is the standardized extract of ginkgo biloba and not something else. Because, you know, doctors criticize herbs, and in a way, they have a good point. You don't know how the herb was grown, if it had enough water, or nutrients, or sun. Uh, if the soil was any good. So the different bottles of ginkgo may have different amounts of the different parts, the ginkolicides or the, uh, the various active ingredients. However, with the standardized extract, it's standardized on three of the most important ones. And so you know that it's going to be the same every single capsule and that it's going to help. Now, go to is the other plant that we used in Alzheimer's disease, and it reduced the amyloid plaque in the brain. I think it's interesting that it's in a cell choline esterase inhibitor because so is donepezil. If I had more time, I'd tell you all about donepezil and how it was derived from Nazi nerve gas and into um, organophosphate pesticides and then into a very commonly used drug for dementia. Gotocola has many nice side effects. It inhibits inflammation and oxidation, and it protects against DNA damage. A two-month study in uh, healthy adults found that it improved memory score from 25 to 28, improving memory and cognition 10% middle age. So we did include ginkgo, Gotocola standardized extract 300 milligrams in our study.